Comet meets the Solar Family. Eight-year-old Myra was visiting her grandparents, who lived in a beautiful village far away from the tall city buildings. It was night when Myra was sitting in the balcony alongside Granny, staring at the bright stars in the sky. It was story time, and Myra asked Granny to tell her a story about the stars and planets. Granny had just the right story for Myra. She called the story Comet Meets the Solar Family and started narrating. In a very big galaxy of stars called the Milky Way, there lived a family of eight planets and a star. The family is called the Solar Family. The star, which is known to everyone as Sun, is the head of the family. All the planets needed light to survive. So, the sun would emit light for them. All the planets would run here and there to capture the light it gave. While trying to capture more and more light, planets would bang against each other and get hurt. It was becoming a big problem. Jupiter, the wisest of all planets, decided to find a solution. He thought of a fun game called Capture the Light. Jupiter drew eight round parts around the sun and called them orbits. All orbits were far from each other. Each planet was assigned an orbit. So the planets never banged against each other. The planet that collected most amount of light without leaving his orbit would be the winner of the game. All the planets loved the idea and decided to play it every day. One day, all planets noticed a beautiful object with a shiny tail come towards the orbit assigned to one of the planets. Amazed by the beauty of this object, the planet went close to ask, Who might you be? The beautiful object replied, I am a comet and I am known to everyone as the Halley's Comet. I came here to play the game of Capture the Light with all of you. Would you please let me join you? Meanwhile, some of the planets started discussing. What if the comet cheats? The comet doesn't have an orbit. She might bang with us and hurt us. One of the planets interrupted and said, Let's assign this comet a new orbit that overlaps our orbits. All the planets have to make sure that they don't bang with the comet while trying to capture the light. Yes, the game will be more challenging and it will be fun to have a new friend join our game, said another planet. After some discussion, all the planets finally agreed to let the comet play with them. Jupiter came forth and drew a new orbit around the sun for the Halley's Comet to start playing the game. He explained the rules of the game Capture the Light to the Halley's Comet. Everyone went back to their positions to start the game. After playing the game for many days, it was time for the comet to go back home. She thanked everyone for allowing her to play the game of Capture the Light. Even today, the comet visits the solar family every once in a while to play the fun game of Capture the Light. The end, said Granny. Myra jumped and clapped in excitement. She loved the story. Myra asks Granny to tell her the story every time she visits her.